Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Rain stays in the forecast through the week and the weekend. Already some record rainfall totals. You can see Brownsville, Harlingen, and McAllen for Wednesday tallying up enough to break records at all three locations. Some records go back as far as 1923. You can see Westlaco, Edinburgh, Port Isabel all calling in with nice amounts. Westlaco with a little more than nine-tenths of an inch. That's nearly an inch for the day. Radar estimates rainfall totals anywhere from, oh, half an inch to near two inches across portions of the valley the last 48 hours. And as far as the year so far, we're doing well for ourselves. We are ahead at Brownsville, Harlingen, and McAllen for the year so far. I wonder if that will hold out. Here you can see overnight lows around 50 degrees, lots of clouds and a chance for showers. Thursday, lots of clouds, a chance for showers, and highs in the mid to near upper 60s. Futurecast takes you through the next 48 hours with an opportunity for rain. Yes, more energy and moisture streaming up from the southwest around a mid-level low pressure area in western Mexico. Delivers the good chance for showers Thursday throughout the middle part of the day and even again toward nighttime. We have more and more of these bundles of showers coming across from Mexico. And on Friday, maybe not as prolific, but still present and accounted for. The rain, a big part of it, all a part of that really, this area of low pressure that's coming out of Mexico and will continue streaming across northeast Mexico. By the weekend though, it should start moving east of us and we'll be left with sort of a well, generic chance for showers on Saturday, but still there, the chance for showers by hook or by crook will stay in the forecast through the weekend. Temperatures will be up near 70 degrees, so that's good. That gives our grass a chance to green up again to be certain and temperatures trying to bounce back near 80 early next week that's a look at your